All right, the tech sector has been on a tear, most notably FANG stocks, but one expert says avoid FANG. That's David Bonson, Chief Investment Officer at Hightower, who is back with us on set. And David, avoid FANG because Facebook, Amazon, Netflix, Alphabet are up 20 to 30 percent year to date. But over the past 30 days, Netflix and Alphabet are down slightly. Yes, and so part of that big performance they've had this year is the reason we want to be avoiding it going forward. We think it's had an incredible run, and as is often the case, its run has gone into even superlative valuations. Investors have made great money there. It's time to peel that back, find better value in the market. So is this just a profit-taking call, or do you see some sort of crash coming in the coming months with FANG? We would never be able to predict a crash, so to speak. We actually think each company has to be viewed individually. Some have better merits than others operationally. It's a valuation call. Uh, certainly, we're a big advocate of taking profits at these levels. But for, from our vantage point as long-term investors, we just simply think these things are too stretched. There's better opportunity in three, five, ten-year timelines for, for value creation. So where are those opportunities? I mean, is it financials? Is it energy? So we're perpetual dividend growth investors, and we see incredible dividend growth opportunities in the financials and energy sector. You have a deregulation taking place in both of those areas. A deregulation partially coming from Trump administration agenda that does not require the consent of Congress. These are executive branch level moves that are adding value in the midstream energy sector, the build out of infrastructure, the, the uh, cabinet appointees there, getting things done, projects approved that the prior administration just basically put a kibosh to. On the financial side, I think a lot of us know the story there. Deregulation of Dodd-Frank, we, we have an expression we're using a lot these days. Personnel is policy. Mm. They're appointing personnel that we think do not view things the way the prior administration viewed things, allowing for greater capital uh, management out of the financial institutions. We like the asset managers, and we like the more well-run um, and, and free cash flow generating big banks. Well, and President Trump is set to appoint a somewhat bank-friendly person to the bank regulatory body on the Fed. That's right. So, so Randall Quarles, who's been named now as of this morning, the vice chair of Fed supervision, been, been appointed, still will require approval. Um, is is a very um, qualified regulator, supervisor, comes from Treasury Department, but having worked at Carlisle, private equity background, understands the wheels of free enterprise. We think it's a great appointment and great for investors. And just back to energy for a moment, you mentioned that sector. Any specific names you're watching there? I can't say enough about enterprise products. As, for, as far as a midstream leader in the MLP pipeline space, incredible volumes, great counterparties, 125% distribution coverage and has grown their dividend 61 quarters in a row. We think it's deeply undervalued. You're gonna buy it now at over a 6% yield, and they're gonna grow that distribution over 5% a year till kingdom come. All right, David, we'll leave it there. David Bonson from Hightower, thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me.